Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Monster Train. Let's play another random run because I'm having a good time with these. Uh, except for the Melting Remnant. I hate them with a passion. Give me someone else, please. Awoken Hellhorn. We do need a 25 victory with Awoken Primary. So, consume times two, very good. Rage six, not good. Uh, healing spells cast cost negative one. Okay. Consume Seraph. At least it's not buff debuff, which means that we can build uh, like super tanky and then just let the tank take tank all the damage from Seraph and be fine. Let's check this out first. Units cost negative two. Yes. I love it. I love it because now we can take like the monstrous demons of Hellhorn and be able to actually play them. Now, what do we want here? Spikes or Rejuvenate? It's an interesting choice. Against the multi-hitting bosses, Spikes does more damage. Spikes also allows you to play the sentient and kill all of the weak enemy units that are gonna be spawned in and slowly making their way up your pyre. However, Rejuvenate does deal more damage against a single target. I think I like the Spikes more though. You also get more health out of it. Armor 10. This is the uh, the negative of it, though, because the units that hit you are going to live with 1 HP. But I still think you do it because we have torches. <gasps> What's this? Targeted damage spell that can kill weak enemies? We have torches that we can use to, to hit a unit and then kill it very slowly over time. So now you're dead. Lovely. I don't even care about you. You can live. I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna have to spend a torch on you, but that's still okay. Put a train steward down. Start stacking up the regen. Um, we're gonna have to spend one torch on each one of these units as they move up. That's not that bad. And you have 40 health, you're gonna hit the pyre twice. I don't really mind that. So the edge prior needs to be played. Restores are now free. Torch kills you. Might as well play some train stewards. And either I want to kill you, or I want to torch you so that you can die. I actually cannot torch you, which is highly annoying. So, can I kill the boss? They're taking 145. They're dead. I just don't want to take pyre damage if we can avoid it. And look at the difference immediately between this and the last run that we did, which was Umbra... Melting Remnant or some... some BS like that. Like. We can tank, we can survive, we can do damage to the enemies. Man, I love the Awoken. And I love the uh, Hellhorn. They're actually balanced. Uh, healing, Enhance, Sting. All good. Restoration Detonation is better, though. Welder Helper for free for armor. I think we'll take a Vent for the AoE crowd control. We'll take a Demon Fiend, absolutely. He's cheap. And I've got a very good feeling about, about this run immediately. We have everything that I like. You know, double consume spells, heavy hitting expensive units. Are we gonna upgrade him with multi-strike? We're gonna try. Or we could go to the right and get better spells, but our spells don't really matter right now. Units would be better. And we don't need another tank, but a, a quick sweeper would be kind of nice. Something to just kind of, I mean, we don't really need it because of the fact that we have spikes. A Thorned Hollow, we don't want though because we already have a Spike Champion. So I think we'll take the Husk Kermit just so we have another unit, and I like having units. And if we make him, make him quick, we're very happy with that. Quick, plus 10, plus 25. We could put that on the edge prior, but I want to have the Demon Fiend on the same floor as them. As the champion, that is. I could put the Demon Fiend at plus 25, but I'd really like to make them multi-strike. But making the Demon Fiend last longer is also pretty nice. Could also save our money. What are we looking for out of the Demon Fiend? We're looking to make him multi-strike and then maybe large stone with a capacity upgrade, I suppose. But even then, it's a little funky. I don't know what you take here. I think you... No, I, I will spend it on the edge prior. There you go. I'll make a, I'll make a tank. 
He'll take a couple of hits, and if there's a unit behind him, he'll live a little bit longer. Hey, Twig Breaker, welcome back. Hope your car ride was enjoyable. Well, I want the Husk Hermit down. So in order to kill units and stop them from making it up, we are gonna play the Husk Hermit. We could play the Husk Hermit Demon Fiend as a tank, and then the Sentient at the top, but I think we will do Husk Hermit Sentient. I'll actually play the Demon Fiend at the top for a, uh, a kill on the Loot Goblin, who's up here actually, so we'll kill you like this. Train Steward will tank for you. Uh, just ice you. I guess it doesn't matter what we do because we're quick. Man, a quick sweep is so nice. <laughs> what? End turn. You're taking 144. Man, a rage is very good here, as is a regen. Taking 190. You're dead. Easy mode. All right. Next fight. Consume apply quick. Actually pretty good. We've already made the sweep unit quick, but if we can make our demon fiend quick, I'd still think we would like it. Um, but it's not that necessary. Steel enhancer is pretty good, especially if we get a multi-strike unit. Making it free and holdover is like perfectly okay. We don't have like an encant synergy like we did last time, but it is still a good card to have. Uh, but I think you go Restoration Detonation. You just want more raw heal. And I think you absolutely want a Hidden Passage. Now we can build a second floor and then put everything on that second floor. I will say an Awoken Hollow is very nice. I, l I never seem to get this unit when I need it because I don't need it right now. I have enough tanks out there, you know? But I still love this unit. It's a good unit to just dump your regen on, but we want to dump all of our regen on our, on our champion anyways. Deranged Brute is like ugh, fine, except we have, well, we have Ritual of Battle. Maybe we can make him work. I hate that it costs us uh, Recruit Banner draw, but maybe that's okay. And dude, I'll be honest, maybe you just duplicate your Demon Fiend. <laughs> I mean, we could, we could go for a Hellhorde unit. What would we be hoping for? I don't know, Demon Fiend? Are you gonna let me copy five Demon Fiends? No. Store health, enhance your pyre with three X. I don't really like either of these, but we could heal the pyre slowly. It's early, so it might be acceptable. We need to gold the card at some point, but I really don't like it. So. Duplicate you. Now I wish I upgraded you, but honestly, at 50-50, you don't need upgrading that much. So we're gonna have a easy fight here, I think. The units tend to have 45 health max. So I don't see this being a problem. We can put the sentient plus the sweeper at the bottom. So we're gonna do that. We do want to build a floor, but we'll build the top floor filled with demon fiends. We don't need to build the bottom. So I'll put you there, put you there. And then rage gets better, huh? The problem is you don't need it because you're a demon fiend. So I'm kind of thinking, honestly, what if I just put the rage on you and you deal more damage? I need to upgrade those rage spells, but I don't know how to upgrade them. I don't know how to make them work when I'm not mainlining the uh, the Hellhorn. I'm kind of mainlining Awoken to an extent with these tanks anyways. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. I have no capacity. <laughs> I cannot play anything anywhere. All right, well. Just do that, I suppose. End turn. 
Another good thing about having restoration detonations is that they're very good at healing, like, the demon fiends up here. So I'll be honest, I'm kind of of the opinion that you just play Boneshine. I don't, I'm not even gonna play the vent. Taking 127. Taking 150, you're taking 219, you're taking 242. I don't think you're making it up. I actually thought we were gonna do more damage before final wave happened, but I'm still okay with this. It's gonna build up a, a top floor, I think. Bong, 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 bong. Oh, there's my hidden passage, lovely. Right on time. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, yeah. One day I'll take Cycle of Life. It's actually not that bad on our on our champion, because I mean, right now it's double spiking. But even at twenty spikes, it goes to thirty, and at forty, it goes to fifty. And you can make it cheap and hold over, maybe. But I still think I like this. We need more damage. And Animus fits. The Branded Warrior could fit, but I don't think the Branded Warrior is gonna get too many kills. Yeah, the Rage is better with the Deranged Brute, but I just took him as a unit who might synergize with Ritual of Batter. Battle. <laughs> which, which Rule of Batter? <laughs> what is this, a baking competition? We don't need energy. Card draw could be nice to get to our units faster. Um, energy is nice for the Awoken's, Awoken's Rail Spike. But I think you do go capacity. We need to be able to play more units on each floor. Then again, we only have like a specific number of units that we're ever playing at one point in time. So maybe we will go card draw, getting better stuff. There you go. Because we have enough energy thanks to the units being free. This thing is probably one of the best relics you can get early. Units cost negative two, it's insane. I want to up, <laughs> we're gonna freaking have a full health pyre. I want to upgrade my units. What about an endless demon fiend? Then if it dies, you can play it on a second floor. No. No, 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 no. You wanna know why? Because we're gonna spend on you, and we're gonna get multi-strike. I think that's like, okay. And then we'll purge some train stewards. I know they cost zero, but it's still a dead draw when we draw it. I mean, you're just, you're literally unplayable. So I kind of don't even want to spend the money on you. You probably should spend the money, but on the, uh, I don't think we can take this because I gotta, I gotta hit these units multiple times as they move up. So we're gonna say no on this one. It's the worst modifier. Enemy health, enemies get full health. I can never make it function. <laughs> oh, but that's okay. That's okay. I also want to build at the bottom, which really sucks because I do not have the capacity to play a Demon Fiend, but we can put the Animus at the bottom and they're still gonna do a bunch of damage. They're gonna do enough that we're gonna be happy with it. So I think what we're gonna do here is uh, just stack up on this floor. And I'm, think, I'm looking at it and I'm like, what, what else can we do? We can do this, we can do this, and we can end turn. Should have played you at the top because of you, but I, I guess a vent for two will kill you, but I guess that was kind of silly to do, huh? The Animus has to go down. I can't kill you because I have... I should have played you at the top. Animus has to go down. We don't have to play the Demon Fiend. We're gonna get another one back. So you know... 
Tell you what, there you go. Let's get the gold. Oh, look, a demon fiend. How surprising. I also think that maybe we play the demon fiend at the top, but you know what? We're not gonna get back around, I think, to ascend. So I think we just play the demon fiend here because we, we know that we're gonna want to, uh, to kick the crap out of the, uh, the boss as quickly as possible before they move up. Yeah! Well, you're free. Your rage is pretty good. I think we will go capacity next so we can put the brute with the animus and we stack rage on the animus. That seems like a pretty good idea. And these Ritual of Battles, it's a good card. It's so expensive though. For rage six, it costs three. That's too expensive. That's prohib prohibitively expensive game. I can't afford it. You're dead. Don't need to play anything. Don't need to play anything. We could play Rage now. I'm gonna save capacity for the Demon Fiend so nothing else is getting played. We got so much garbage in this deck that is just like, it's either unplayable or I don't wanna play it. Like, there you go. At least we have this Animus. We also need to duplicate those saps, if possible. Draw next turn, root an enemy, draw plus one each turn. We don't need this because we have Herzl's compound. We have already taken our major enhancement. We don't need more units because we're already having a hard time placing units. I don't think we need imps. That does not seem to fit the build. I think what we need is like a concealed cavern event that, event that gives us more capacity. We could duplicate another Demon Fiend. If we think that'll help, we could add another Demon Fiend. Capacity is a big problem. You know what, I can't. I can't waste 20 Pyre health just to get another Demon Fiend when I can get a free artifact and a cavern. I will go with top floor days. I will keep looking for multi-strike. Let's go. I think we might as well upgrade him as well. So now we have a, another unit that can benefit from rage quite heavily. Sap and frostbite. Apply Burnout, apply Rage, and apply Armor. Like, this is 1x, this is 2x. This is at least takeable, but I still don't like it. But if we have nothing else to do on a turn, I guess we can apply some Rage. On the fl floor with the Rage guy who can make the Rage do more damage. There you go. That's why I'm taking the card. Is it adding in another garbage card to the deck? Probably. I still think it's okay. By the way, we have to play at the bottom. And we really need the sweep unit. Not getting the sweep unit is not horrible, but we need that sweep unit at the bottom. And we have just the perfect capacity floor down here as well. So you're gonna get the regen. We'll play the demon fiend up. Play the Demon Fiend up there. Because I, I worry about the, the Loot Goblin up there. Because if you spawn here, I can maybe still get you. That's my thinking. <laughs> like, if I can get the Demon Fiend, I can kill you. I could put the Husk Hermit there. But you know what? We don't need the Husk Hermit down here because of the spikes. We might prefer to have the uh, Animus. Problem is, is that the boss is going to kill us? But, oh well. This is not what I wanted at all. I can't even play Ritual of Battle. It's so freaking expensive. But I want the gold, so there you go. You're gonna make it to the Pyre at this rate. I could put a Train Steward to block 10, but... 
I really don't want to give you any armor. You're dazed, which is nice. I can kill you. It's difficult, but I can kill you. It's gonna cost all of my energy. But I think we absolutely should. It's gonna be this, and it's gonna be this. I wanna save my pyre as much as possible. So enemies that get, make it to the top, they're dead. We don't need to worry about them. You need more health, but you also need to heal. You're taking six. You're all dead. You're gonna do six damage next turn. You're gonna live next turn. We'll keep healing. Keep stacking that regen. Uh, spells don't really do anything, so let's give rage and armor to someone. I mean, I like the rage on you. The rage on you doesn't really do that much. At least you're doing more damage now. And I think that did make the difference in getting a kill. I didn't run the math on that, but it, it seems to be the case. And you know what? I really like this top floor now because the Demon Fiends, they do a whole bunch of damage and they never take damage because the enemies are dazed, so I don't have to worry about healing them. Ultimately, it actually feels like a pretty good combination. So like, I don't even need to kill this guy. I'd much rather just play a crap heal and then good heals down here to purge, uh, purge the uh, stealth. Admittedly, your stealth sucks. And you're gonna hit us three times, which means you're gonna go up with five stealth? One, you're gonna lose another three. You'll move up here with two stealth. I think we wanna raise up the deranged brute to the top floor. He does soak up two turns of stealth though, and I'd rather have the 50 damage than his 30 though. But if I move him up, I can uh, rage the Demon Fiend, and the Demon Fiend's gonna get more damage output. Yeah, okay. And then I can just put a Train Steward down here for free. Turns out I actually like that turn. It's gonna be this, it's gonna be this, it's gonna be this, and then it's going to be this to purge Spell Shield. And you're gonna be dazed when you hit the top, too. And you actually only have two turns of stealth because of the regen. I didn't even think about the regen. You gotta remember the regen. That's why it's there. <laughs> Nothing matters anymore. <laughs> As in, our turn didn't matter at all there. All right, you're dazed, you're dead. It's weird, when you play the Hellhorn, there's a lot of turns in which you just say, I don't need to do anything, end turn. If you have a good run, end turn, end turn, end turn. Uh, Bramble Lash is the spell we're looking for. We don't have a spell that does damage. Uh, armor 20 is good. Armor 10 is possibly better because ultimately this ends up being 15 armor and this is 10 armor with movement, which could be bad but this could be used on an enemy to kill them and it pierces. It's like we could push a unit to the front for 10 armor, make it hold over and cheap. Or we can make this uh, hold over and cost one, give 15 total health, but 20 armor, and we can always heal the damage done based by just putting uh, regen on a unit, which is pretty good. So the branding right might be better. It's a little bit more... It's a little bit more flexible. But the thing is, I don't like... Like, here's the thing. I don't like taking March of Shields when I'm relying entirely on healing. Branding Right kind of gets around that by allowing me to still spend my healing on healing a unit. Because you do damage, and then you can heal a unit. So you get value when you're awoken Hellhorn. So maybe I've been undervaluing this card. Maybe we should, you know, grab it, take it, and see what we can get out of it. 
You know what I mean? Uh, let's do the... Let's do the concealed caverns first. See what we get. Upgrade unit with plus 25. Kills a unit, restore health. Friendly units get plus 10 and heartless. Well, when we're in the Awoken, that seems to be pretty bad. Let's get a big, tanky, beefy demon fiendy. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Three health doesn't matter, because we're at 107 of 110, which is kind of absurd. Permafrost. We want to play spells as they come up. <laughs> Magic power and consume on a torch. I don't mind this on a restore to have like burst restore. We'll upgrade like that, reroll. I was kind of hoping for double stack because now this is 40 armor, which is kind of ridiculous. We could also go double the value out of the spike, double regen, double rage. I think we prefer the double armor which is pretty darn good. Yeah, I kind of like this. And then we'll, um, since we made one torch exhaust, we'll make one restore exhaust as well. I think that was a very good shop. And we still want to dump these train stewards because we, 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 don't, we don't have the capacity for them, really. Um, yeah, because we're playing units all over the place and we need the capacity for our other units. But then what do you take here? Now, I might honestly go... I might honestly go with a little bit of energy so we can play more spells. You know, we're not playing the three cost rage cards. We added some expensive spells to the deck. I would like to have them. I would like to play them. So we know what we're doing. You get go up here. You deal with the garbage. You go down here. You deal with the early garbage. We have room for the edge prior, which is really cool. Because we didn't get low floor capacity at the bottom this time around. And um, we could have the Animus, we could have the Animus down here, or we could have the Husk Hermit. I don't think it matters too much, so since we have the Husk Hermit now, we'll play the Husk Hermit now. I think that's acceptable. And then do damage. Actually play the rage card. Drink breaker, you have a good night. Thanks for being here. You need to get played. Did that? Did that actually benefit you? Yes. Yes, it did. It looked like it didn't. Why does it say 80 times 2 over 70 times 2? Hold on. Your base attack is 60. Like, the, the damage looks correct, it's 80 times two, but the lower damage, 70 times two, is not correct. That should be base damage. Instead, it's, it's not factoring in the effect of deranged brute correctly. Very strange. Um, anyways, you're gonna take some armor. We'll heal you up later. Could give you more rage and more armor, but Honestly, I might prefer just to... No, nah, our store doesn't really do that much. Consume doesn't really do that much, because of quickness. Everything's going to be dead anyways. Um, you know what? Let's, uh... Yeah, let's buff you. It, this is one of those turns where it's like, it takes the entire turn, but the correct play is this, and then you're done. <laughs> you sweep. Uh, I could put the Animus down. You're gonna get a kill on the Train Steward, but at least the Train Steward is gonna block for the Animus temporarily. And then we got an Animus out there. Who's currently dead, but, you know, oh well. We will draw a restore and a torch and make them free. Hooray. Um.
Well. You're dead. I don't... I don't mind, actually. I don't really care if you die, Animus. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Except I am sorry. But, oh well. Uh, just hit you. These guys do scare me, because they are making it up a floor. Maybe we should have dealt with the uh, these two boys. But I think they're still dead. Because we do 80 damage to the one in the back, I think. Oh, you're just going to kill them both. You do 84. Oh, fantastic. Well, if you do 84, let's keep buffing your rage. It's gonna take the entire turn. <laughs> but, like, these units don't matter. And the restores are free. So there you go. There you go. They get dazed. They're gonna die. A torch for zero, huh? There you go. They're doing 256 damage. That's pretty good. I, I was gonna say, I do kinda wish we could get branding right again, so there it is. Now you have 84 armor, which is pretty good. Um, we'll stack up the restoration detonation on... I mean, honestly, I kinda feel like just stacking the region on you now. You're, you're the tank, believe it or not. Who cares about the sentient? Have my regen. I should have put that unit in the front to tank, I realize now. But yeah, like, we just want as much as possible on the top floor. Armor or rage? I think you go armor. And then honestly? By the way, you're dead. Now we are taking 75 damage. It's a lot of damage. You're not going to hear me say that it's not a lot of damage. But you only had three attacks, and all of your attacks hit my armor, which is pretty good. Oof. It's unplayable. But this is real good. Reinforce actually could be incredible. If we're putting up a lot of armor, we could eventually double the armor on the Hellhorn. The problem is, this card is so hard to draw when we need to draw it. But if we play it correctly, we could get like an extra hundred armor. We need to freeze the card when it comes up and play it right at the end. That's what I'm realizing what we need to do. And I think we will, I think we will go energy. Capacity is not a problem. Card draw, I mean, we get a lot of garbage, but let's remove cards. We need energy to play the cards that we have. And I think we immediately go into card removal plus upgrading spells. I hate it because we don't really get that much value because we don't have a lot of gold, which makes me think that maybe we should go left. We gain gold, we gain a hell vent. I'll do it, I'll do it. And this will be our, our last unit upgrade. Absolutely lose health. Summon abilities trigger uh, an additional time. We have zero summon abilities. So let's turn this into cash. 20 health for 25 gold. Doo doo doo. Doo. So we have 210. Oh! Oh! Large demon fiend? Large brute? What I like about this is that we can play him on, like, the bottom and move him up, or we could just move units up as time goes on. It's not fantastic, but it turns him into a, a, a big unit. <laughs> unit. <laughs> I gotta think about this, though. Large Drain Steward. The Demon Fiend. 90 health is so good. I do worry about playing him though, because three is easy to play. Four is very difficult to play. 
but I think I'm gonna do it anyways because I can always play him on the four capacity floor and then move units up into that floor, which we're gonna pro probably be doing anyways. So we'll do that and then give you 14 rage. Your rage kind of blows anyways, but you're kind of just a unit I play. So I'm gonna play you. I'm gonna save the upgrade on you and instead maybe just purge a card or we could just save our money. So I'm actually thinking I'm just gonna save my money. I don't really have a card I want to purge except for like a crappy torch or a train steward. Well, you know what? Let's get you out of here. I think it can only make the deck better, but we, yes, this is fine. Ember Drain sucks. Uh, we really, 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 really want after this, to upgrade spells, lower costs, make anything holdover that we can make holdover, and I think we'll be good. You suck, though. Uh, we could put the Animus down. Could play the Awoken Rail Spike and get a whole bunch of draw. You know, I think that's a great plan. It's like the perfect turn for it. Haha. <laughs> Okay, now what do you play? That does 400 damage? Excuse me? So you're the four demon fiend, and we're gonna play you at the top. We knew that this was exactly what's gonna happen anyways. So then we're gonna give you armor, which is exactly what we wanted to have happen anyways. Uh, I think a quick sweep could be good, but the enemies here are extremely tanky. An Animus might serve us better. The problem is the Animus's damage is pretty low anyway, so let's just go House Kermit in case there's a support unit. Uh, we'll put you down and then ascend you later. We'll get the regen out. I think that was a pretty good turn. And there is a crappy weak unit, although we're not killing them. We're killing them due to spikes. And now we gotta decide if we're even gonna play Deranged Brute, because if we play him, we can't play the Demon Fiend. So I think we do not play this guy just in case we don't draw Hidden Passage. And instead, I suppose I'm just going to keep applying regen. <laughs> Excuse me. And end turn. Capacity could have been nice, but I still don't think we need it necessarily. Demon Fiend has to come out. You're dead. You need to keep healed. We're gonna lose two energy, but we still have two. Can't even play that card. You're not dying, but I still think you hidden passage up. The whole point is that you wanna build single big floors. So this is how you build single big floors. We'll stack up more regen. That was a nasty turn though. The enemies did a lot of damage and we're gonna have even more Ember Drain come out, unfortunately. Not on the top floor though. Not on the top floor. I forgot about that. That's fantastic. Okay, healing spells are cheap. I don't think we need to restore. I don't, look at this. Look at the size difference of the Demon Fiends. You got the ab, you got the, the absolute unit demon fiend. And the teeny, the teeny little time and demon fiend. Oh, I'm so demon -y. He's the harder hitter one, but he's the tankier one. Um, well, we're gonna lose three energy next turn. You're actually living to the pyre too. So let's, let's rage you now that I look at the situation. Took eight. I don't want to lose two energy next turn, but I really do want the deranged brute out. We could hidden passage him up, so let's get him out. Let's get the regen popping. You're dead. You're not dying. You do 65 damage and you're dead. Why? You do 66, but you're not doing any damage to the second unit. If I take you down to 
50. That's only 39 and you're not doing any damage to him anymore. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just uh, smack the unit that can actually do damage. So the, if, if nothing else, the pyre will kill him faster. So this is exactly what I wanted as far as draw goes. I really wanted Hidden Passage and we have it. So let's move you up. Now you're both dying and this floor is, is looking pretty good. I would like to do more than 300 damage to you though. I think a little bit more restoration does nothing. Saw that one coming. Uh, I think we should just give you a little bit more rage and armor. You thought the third floor was all one unit. You thought the two demon fiends was like a, a horrible eldritch monstrosity? <laughs> Dude. Double armor, 80, 160. Oh, it's 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 magic. Oh oh oh, it's magic. You know. That's insane damage output, or insane armor output, really. So you're not making it past. We might as well put all of it into moonshine. Surprisingly beneficial card. That was a very good fight, though. Ended up taking no damage because we healed the damage that we had taken. We don't need quick, we don't need stings. The um, Consume Seraph does worry me, but we have a lot of torches and restores. We can get rid of those cards super easily. I don't think we need any of this because the top floor is dazed, so the armor stays on the top floor. And I'll be honest with you, I kind of feel like armor is good for us. We should take Inflame, we should take March of Shields to apply armor and keep our units alive longer, especially with the doubling card in our deck. So give me the March of, March of Shields. If we make it hold over, I'll be happy to see it. And we're gonna upgrade spells and we're probably gonna get another Demon Fiend. Cool. But let's see. Plus one spikes each time it's applied. It doesn't work. X cost cards get plus three. Awoken Rail Spike is a great X coster. And Spike of the Hellhorn could be worth it. Remove Consume cost one more. I think we don't want Reinforce to be played multiple times. It's too expensive. We want to make it Holdover, but first let's upgrade some other things. These are still so expensive, but I don't care. I can't play them. Let's make March of Shields cheaper. And if we can make this holdover, that'd be great. <laughs> Magic power, a vent, oh, vent is real good. Yeah, vent is real good on the magic power. On the magic power. Why would sap not consuming? We don't, we're not really, like the, um, the champion is actually just there to weaken units. It's not there to kill them outright. Not in this run. Double stack. Yeah. Yeah. We already double stacked this one. Armor 20. Fits. It fits. Plus 10 magic power again. Restoration detonation is a pretty good one. We don't need a second upgrade on vent. I think a, a better restoration detonation is what we want here. Upgraded spell that costs negative one. Probably in this, uh, a hidden passage. A Bramble Lash is always playable on the floor with the champion. And we're always gonna wanna play it. So let's make this free, I think. Then with our last bit of remaining cash, Let's make our X cost cards better because we actually do have multiple X cost cards that we want. For card removal, we will remove a torch and a restore. For card duplication, we will duplicate. I think you duplicate branding, right? Because the armor is ridiculous. You could duplicate another demon fiend, like another multi-strike demon fiend. It's hard to ascend them, but even if you just have a Demon Fiend on a floor doing 120 damage, I think that's okay. Hundred and twenty for Purge. Can't afford it. <sighs> I 
I do like branding right for the armor. It's a lot of armor. But I, I gotta think, like, what, what, what units do we expect? We expect 15 damage, three health minions. There could be 15 times two, five health minions. They will die to thorns. We could face uh, two times 160s. They are very annoying to deal with. As they move up, uh, they're just going to take a lot of punishment to kill. Two times 160s will pro probably get to the pyre. Am I okay with some of those guys making it up? I think they do 10 damage. I kind of am. Because they'll take 40 from Thorns, so they'll be at 120. Two hits from a Demon Fiend will kill one, so two Demon Fiends can kill both. No, because you don't have multi-strike, but you can. You plus the Deranged Brute could probably get a kill. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think about what we're going to possibly be fighting. Because if we take a Demon Fiend, it's more damage to the boss just by having a Demon Fiend, but if we take armor, we can stack up more armor before we duplicate the armor. Or we could duplicate reinforce and then, you know, stack 60 armor, double it, double it again. It consumes, so it's not that bad. We could also double up on uh, Awoken's Rail Spike to get significantly more card draw, but we have enough energy to play the cards usually anyways, except if we can get Ritual of Battles cheap, then we can actually play them. Um, so I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I don't know what to really take here. Because, like, a double Awoken Rail Spike draws seven cards if you play it for four and makes them all cost negative two, which is great. I'm sorry I'm taking a minute, but I'm really, I'm just debating whether I should duplicate Demon Fiend or Branding Right or Awoken Rail Spike or reinforce <laughs> we haven't even played reinforce but it's expensive I don't know if we should double that card when Awoken Awoken's rail spike can get us more cards to play you know at least temporarily until things consume but when things consume I think we're okay um so I mean it's 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 tempting I don't know really what to do duplicate but I think you can't go wrong with a rail spike it gets you through the deck faster. You can play more cards. So let's do that. And uh, we're out of money. We can't buy anything. Let's leave. I think that's okay. Other shop. The shops all share purge pricing, so it costs 120. Can't afford it. So we have to worry about consume, but we have cards that consume anyways. Do you always appear on, on consume? Three tens? I don't know if you do. You're gonna die anyways, which is good. Um, let's not play Bramble Lash. It's pretty good first turn draw. Um, I do need, I didn't need to play the regen. That was silly. That was actually quite silly. What we're gonna do instead, is uh, do something like this then. We'll play the other Demon Fiend when it comes back around, but that was very dumb. I will fully admit that. Okay. You're all dying when you hit me, so I'm just gonna hit you with a torch, and a restoration detonation, and another torch, and we will, um, we might as well put the sweep down here. It saves us a lot, a lot, a lot of health. And then we will put the Animus down, because we're just going to raise up the Deranged Brute. You are the tank, so you're going to get the armor. Just waiting on those X cost cards. And we drew both of them, so we're only going to play one. Wow, they're actually doing exactly 25, so now you're going to live. Fantastic. Uh, I do think you... Play, no, just, you just play this. Draw seven cards, why not? There, you. now you have a free Vengeful Shard. There you go. I'm not gonna play these for zero, though. That's, that's just silly. Uh, what we'll do instead 
is Play Two Restores. Okay. Everything's everything's looking nice. We we've gone through the deck pretty darn quickly, which is exactly what we want. We want to just keep raising up units whenever possible, but don't consume the card. I, w I really want to play this, but let's play this first. Then we'll play this so it doesn't consume. Then we'll play this so it does consume. <laughs> then we'll end turn. I really want to make those rage cards cheaper so they're playable, but if we make everything else cheaper, then we can play them. Shine heals for 14. It's too much healing. You, we need to do more damage on this floor. I don't know how. They're actually not 160s, they're 190s as well. I, I had the math wrong. Which makes me very worried about not playing the other Demon Fiend, because next turn one of these units is going to make it up and hit the Pyre four times. We have enough Pyre health that it's not that big of a problem, but it's still an annoyance that it got to that point. So let me think, they're gonna have 98 health. I can't vent to bring them down any any lower. Like to, to a worthwhile amount of health, you know? So honestly, I'm like, restore bone shine. And then, uh, take 137. If I play the, uh, 121. <laughs> I need to play a torch next turn. Whatever, I'll play a torch next turn. But now we're shuffled. And, uh, 10 cards are gone. We love to see it. So, keep stacking up that armor. Now you have 100 armor. So now if we, now we're in the range of doubling. But before we do anything else, I honestly think you Awoken Rail Spike and draw seven. There's our Demon Fiend. He's gotta go out. Now we're, we're the units aren't aren't gonna be making it up, any, up anymore. We needed to play him earlier. I, I made a mistake playing the regen. I didn't really look at my uh, energy because I had units and I said to myself, hey, I have the units, I don't need to worry about my energy. I needed to worry about my energy then. But that's okay, we will deal, we will handle it. And honestly, it's not too bad. Actually, now you're gonna hit the pirate two less times? That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I think that math does work out. <laughs> yeah, you went from four to two. That's perfectly acceptable. You're all dazed, you're not dying. And I can't raise you up quite yet, but we'll get there. So let's uh, consume this restore. Do I want to reinforce? I don't think we reinforce. I think we wait. We'll play the restore and the bramble lash. Um, next turn is final wave, but due to a relatively thin deck and extra card draw, I think we can come back to reinforce. I think what I want to do here is just like apply 14 rage. It's going to make you do 121 damage, which is not enough for a kill, which is insane. But it also gives you an extra 14 armor and we're going to be doubling it soon. So at least we're getting one kill, but we're going to take 30 damage. And all of this because I didn't play that demon fiend earlier, which was very unfortunate of me. So we'll play this, and might as well play this. Uh, might as well not, really. You're dead. 12 cards means we're guaranteed to draw the du the du <laughs> the doubling. The doubling. 268 armor. That's probably enough, if I had to guess. I don't think we're going to suffer too much. Excuse me? You're not dead? You're not dead. I don't believe that you are not dead. I don't. 
I don't. Excuse me? You're still... You're still not dead? I don't believe it. <laughs> You're gonna live with 33 health. You're gonna live with 33 health, huh? No. Can I just say, though? Covenant rank 25. Seraph has 1,000 HP. I have... 300... 350 damage a turn. I have 300 armor on my Demon Fiend, and that's almost barely not enough to kill you. I hate you, Seraph, I hate you. <laughs> my God, but it worked. Man, that was, uh, Real close. <laughs> that could have gone better, but it also could have gone worse. We won, we lived. I'll be honest with you, also, I didn't even look at the bottom floor when Seraph came around. I just completely ignored him. They didn't matter at all. I knew it was all in the top floor, but Reinforce did it. We need this card, won us the run. Being able to double the armor meant that we survived for like an additional five turns. If we didn't have that, we would have absolutely lost. So there's our first Awoken 25 victory. Well, primary Awoken. We uh, already have Stygian Guard and Umbra primary Awoken secondary victories. Um, not on a Melting Awoken run though, but Melting Awoken. <laughs> well, I hate the Melting. What? What's weird is that I say that, and I already have three victories as Melting Primary, but I've been grinding them out, I think, trying to get the get them done. So, run complete. Win streak is now back up to one. And it only took uh, a couple of bad Umbra Melting runs in between. So there we go. Cheap minions, demon fiends, and a bunch of armor. That's all, you just gotta punch. It's got to punch as hard as you can. And I don't mind the capacity and the energy. It really did help out. The X cost cards got uh, insane value out of the first Hell Pact. We didn't even play in the end one of those X costers, the Spike of the Hellhorned, which I think is a garbage card. Two Rage and two Armor is not worth that much, but drawing cards and making them cheap for the entire combat is insanely valuable. I, I think this needs a buff. I think it needs to be like five rage and five armor. Now, if you have rage synergies, yeah, it, it can be pretty good. You can get a lot of value out of it. Yeah, if the unit is multi-strike, you can get a lot of value out of it. But this is, it, it, it's weird because this spike is always good if you play it because you, you draw a card and you make it cheap. This is like situationally good because two armor or four armor might not matter. And if you don't really have a lot of multi-striking, Two rage and four rage doesn't matter. Because it's not like Hellhorn has a lot of multi-strike minions. Yeah, sure, they have the artifact that makes their demons multi-strike, but still, like, this 10 out of 10, this, like, a 3 out of 10. And situationally, maybe, like, a 5 out of 10, and that's it. Anyways, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monster Train.